So listen carefully. Think about your thinking. Think about your scheme. A whale in the air. After that, I saw a whale jump out of the water, turn in the air. Mark said this was called breaching. Breaching. I saw another whale put its head straight <coughs> out of the water. This was called spy hopping. The whale is watching us. Okay, talk through that for a minute. That was two pages of ideas. Sort out what stuff you already knew, and is there new learning that we need to put in our file? Talk that out with one another. Mm -hmm. Talk it out with one another. Is there any new learning on this page? What do you think? Any new learning on this page? Yes? Spy hat. Oh, that was so new to me, too. <coughs> Sorry to put that up there. Isn't it exciting when we are learning new stuff while we're reading? So spy, hopping, definitely new learning. Sweetheart, can you put that up in our new learning? Okay. And what? anything else? Yep. I actually knew that whales can jump backwards out of the water. You did? So that wasn't new learning for you. So when we were talking about that whales jump out of the water, <laughs> that was something we already knew. Did we learn anything new that we need to add to our five? Yes. Great question. Spy hopping. That is what is so cool about new learning. It always makes us <coughs> wonder more. Very good reading. It slashes. It does. <coughs> Was this in our schema before breaching? No. So where do we need to put that? New, new learning. Okay. All right, you guys. I know it's a lot <coughs> of work thinking about our schema, isn't it? It is. It's a lot of work. Are you ready? Can I show you one more thing about schema? Are you okay with that? Yeah. All right, because I know you've been sitting a long time, but I want to show you one more thing. And actually, this is the most important part of our day. This is the most important part of our conversation. Here's something that even the best of readers make a mistake. They think about what they already know. They think about their schema. They pay attention to what? New stuff. And then they think they're done. So you know what they do? They shut their file and they stick it back in their brain. But guess what? You are not done yet as a reader. You have one more job. This was your first job. This was your second job. Now I want to show you your third most important job. Do you know? Do you already know what the job is? Jumping. Not jumping. No? No, it's about thinking. It's a thinking job. This is your first thinking job. This is your second thinking job. We have one more job. What do you think has to happen between what we already know and what we've learned? What do you think might have to happen in there before we're really done reading? Do you have an idea? Look at you! We're not done because every time we read something, our schema is different. Our schema is different. So we have to find a way to connect. Do you know what that word means? To take what we're newly learning and connect it with something we did. So that means we've got to move around some information. <coughs> Let me show you how that works. Here's what I can do. It will help my brain remember my new schema. I already knew that whales jumped out of the water. That was in my, and we already knew that the water was in the ocean. So look how I'm connecting that. The whales jump out of the water and in the ocean. And they do it in two ways. They can do it a little bit, and that's called spy hopping. Or they can jump out all the way, and that's called breaching. Do you see how I combined all of this? And look what I'm going to do. Instead of my brain having to remember 
every single thing. I'm going to take this and I'm going to make new whiskey. Watch how I do this. It's very important. When whales jump out of the ocean, it's called spy hopping. If they just put their head out and breaching, if they put their whole body out. Oh, that's a whole page. It is a whole page, but remember how much information I had to put? So this now is what I am always going to be able to know and remember about skiing. We're going to talk about that for a minute. Talk about what you saw me just doing. Am I going to try to remember all of this stuff, or am I going to try to remember one important thing? One important thing. Do you see how I did that connection? Do we think we could do one of those together? Could we make a new schema together? Yeah. Okay. Where can we take something we learned and connect it to something new? What about, what about the blowhole? Is there a place we could connect that up here? Is there a place <coughs> we could connect that and make new schema? Yes. Why do I see it like Ah, oh, that's right. So the hole that whales breathe in when they're, oh, in the water, when they need to breathe. Look at that. And do you think bubbles come out of that blowhole? Yeah. Look at that. When that happens, let's put all of that on our new schema. So let's put all that to information. So when the whales need to breathe, they use their what? They use their blow hole. Look at that. How great is that? I can remember those two things, can't I? Yeah. I can remember those two things. So that takes a lot of work, but guess what happens? If I make a connection to all of this, then when I close that file and I put it back in my brain, I will be smarter. Because I'm not just looking at what I used to know and what I'm learning. I have made new scheme. I've made new learning. How cool is that? Cool. That is very cool. That is very cool. Now, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to think about. When you go back to your seats today, do you have a piece of paper that you could use? Do you have a piece of paper that you could get? Is there a piece of paper that they could get? Here's what I want you to do to make sure that you are thinking about what we talked about this morning. Because do you remember that I said when we started that I don't do this thinking words just every once in a while. How often do I use my schema like this? Do you remember what word I used? Every time. Will you say that with me? Every time. These are my three thinking words. Will you say them with me? Every time I start thinking about what I know, I pay attention to new learning. And then when I'm done, what do I have to make? New schema. Now, I don't want you to forget that, because every time you read, that's your thinking job. That's what you have to do with your files. So 